What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick off where we left off, um, I have to say I have to make a bit of an admission here. So when I was, when I kicked off this, this Let's Play before, I fought the Battle of Niagara, I assaulted it, and it was an easy win because it was a very depleted Swedish army. We've kicked them off the continent. However, I checked my recording and my, um, well, Bandicam was not recording game audio, so it was just the sound of me the fans from my PC, and the clickety-clack of my keyboard and mouse. And I didn't think you guys wanted to see that. I gave it a look through myself, and it was just frustrating to listen to. So um, I'm not going to include it, because it's not good content. But the, the crux of it is we've kicked the Swedish off, Swedish off of the continent, and what we're going to do is send this army to the west, here to this border, where they can wait for... Um, they can wait for the inevitable war against the Spanish and take Michigan territory... This army is going to head east to the coast and be ready to ship to India. And what we also did was this force here that was previously just elite infantry. Um, I've started to recruit a second army, which I also want to send to India. And then I did a little extra military spending in the Middle East region because we had money to burn. And also it means we start to recruit some actually quite useful units. But apart from that... Uh, yes, and we've also been defending up here in the Americas. Not the Americas, the Russian border. So what's happened is the Russians have actually started to um, mobilise troops against us, but it should be fairly simple. Once we defeat this army, it's the only defeat... It's only... Well, actually, these two are both um, complete stacks. But either way, I think we're more than up to the task of beating them with our very, very elite army. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit end play. End turn, sorry. And let the game take over. And let's see what the AI does. Because we've got... We're making actions in... Um, Europe... We are also fighting in Sweden. So it'd be interesting to see if the AI does anything. Will they come out and attack us? And also I've got to be very concerned that eventually the Swedes will probably um, declare on me. And it will most likely happen during a time when I get attacked or an ally gets attacked. No, I think actually I'm pretty sure in this game it's just me. If someone declares on me and then... Spain does not come to my aid. And that's a real possibility. Because they might... Right now they're hostile to me. They're minus 200. So they really do not, do not like me. But they are an ally. So... The ally doesn't usually like to break alliances. I'm just waiting for the turn. Drop a... You can your alliance. Message on me. Because I know it's going to happen. I just absolutely know it's going to happen. Oh yes, and our forces in Berlin have remained. I've actually expanded them by um, two units of grenadiers and two four-inch mortars to provide a bit more support because that's a big old block of Russian infantry which is going to just spit to the west. So we need to hold them, preferably. Hopefully, the, ooh, the Austrians. Ooh, the Austrians have... Ooh, if the Austrians uh, garrison Warsaw or lay siege to Warsaw, that would be fascinating. Ah, they've tried the old slink around the side. It's not going to work. <laughs> so they've this, but they, they're happy to spend their time trying to run around me um, because they engage me. And the net result is they've had to engage me anyway. So we'll have to see. My, my memory's shot. I can't remember what they've... I <laughs> did not check properly what they're equipped with. So what I'm going to do... Make a bit of a grand battery. Leave my pikes behind to cover them. Then let's make a grand line, which with which with which we will push up and split it in half. So there we go. With one house to the rear. Cavalry reserved, don't know where, the, where I want to deploy it. My general just here. Oh, moly, that's a much bigger line than I thought it was going to be. Cavalry up to the north. If I quick climb, all of my guns fire, trap and shot. Yeah, this is yeah, this is yeah, this is a bigger army than I thought I was thought I was seeing. Let's 
still not going to be a so swing my guys around, get ready to form square. In case these guys try the attack. The Russian they are trying on the flank, so you hit square. And the cuirassiers are ready. Quicklam's coming in. These are skirmish cav. He's drifting. I saw him drift. Let's get this flank unit to form squares. A bit of a guard against the hussars. Get my cavalry to charge on that flank. Ah, there we go. Got your number, didn't we? It's 10 guard modes. So they don't get dragged on too much into that combo with the hussars. They have managed to break the square of that charge. So, throw them into the mix. My hussars are still engaging on this flank. Try and engage the general, as he's provided such a tempting target right there. You hit that regiment foot. The Swiss Grenadiers should make good... Provide a good effect against the hussars. So these are pikemen. So do not want to get close to you. You are also pikemen. However, they're going to get into an unfortunate combat. There's also a combat in the centre, but you're going to get shot to pieces. So let's get you out of line. Position you up. Position you up against these squares. Let's bring these guys up here. Pikes. And their pikes are routing, which is perfect. Let's not commit my artillery to hit the pikes. Let's run straight through the middle and try hit this line. So my pikes are going to get involved. Well, one unit of my pikes are going to get involved. These guys are going to happily mow down the Russian infantry on the left. off garrison mode ah, chase down the militia get some easy kills ultimately all my artillery can just focus on them my plate should, should chew through them in fairly short order actually if I make sure I make these guys engage with guard mode off Capitulation of Russian forces. Hope fire with my artillery. Yeah, and they've been shot to pieces. So that should be. I'm going to continue this. But halt all my artillery fire. Chasing down militia, which I don't really mutton that. You go for them, my general instead go for a union of Cossacks. Line infantry is a much more tasty target. My general's probably. I don't know, he's going to reach them. Because that's. They've routed. Uh, they're just going to. They're just going to hit them. Before they route. Eh, handful of kills, not too terrible. Chase them after the militia. See so if these guys swung west right, right now. Or yeah, swung west. They'd get a good good get a good chance to route. They're gonna make it anyway, but Hit the militia. Well, let's just make you go after 
No, may as well give both go after this militia. That unit's all spread out. There we go. Let's run them through this way. Ultimately, if they don't route, then, you know, they deserve to be slaughtered. Yeah, there's five of them left, and they're going to make it like the absolute troopers they are. But it's a decisive victory for the French Empire in North Yard, so to speak. But that was one of their more complete armies as well, so they've been pushed back. And these guys want to have a go. They're not going to make it. These guys are falling back. Good, you're not sure what to do. Ah, now the Swedes. I'm being engaged by someone. Ah, the Navy. Feel free. Wow, this naval captain destroyed half of their fleet. Francois-Marie Champagny? I'm of... It's unfortunate you've been captured. <laughs> wow. You say disaster. You made them pay heavily for that. So much so they're... Ah, oh, they're going to go repair their ships. Ah, you're going to go try to steal some of my French industrial know-how, eh? Good. Board a ship. Head east. Do something useful, Louisiana. Don't just sit there doing nothing. Ah, do you know, uh, you're a target. So the more you spread your empire overseas, I'm going to boot you off the continent. Although, to be honest, they're trying to capture the, <laughs> the land in... Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are... Shorten carbines. I'm not going to upgrade that. That's a perfect target for them to screw with me. Don't bother with the rockets. To be honest, I've got too many universities. And Evora is only a classical university, so I'm going to knock it down. Oh, Lisbon. You could be upgraded a lot. Um, new town emerges. Kerch in Crimea. Perfect. There's now a very controversial bridge across this strait. And Inverness. Perfect. See, I could upgrade these buildings, but does that make the most sense yet? I think it does. Yeah, so that's the light infantry being recruited. That's some artillery. That is some artillery. Ha. Some make you a fishery. You don't need any more ports. You're going to church school. To slowly turn you Protestant. Not Protestant. Catholic. Not Protestant. Ha. Cool. Take you them. My auto. This one. Yeah, that's just a just an infantry slog. Oh, my general died. Oh well. You replenish on sight because they shouldn't chase. They shouldn't be able to run run around you too quickly. Oh, he died naturally. Thank God. Lots of high tech buildings. Perfect. Get more trade goods. Farms, port, farms, industrial buildings, steam engine. Cloth mills. This is lovely. Pretty sure you can't move out yet. Nope, they really hate that. Uh, coaching in in France, yeah, because people are getting angry. Damascus. Let's keep upgrading the gunnery side because I don't know if I'm going to have to get involved in conflict in this region. Similarly with my with my barracks and stuff, should they actually need to be upgraded? Engineer school in Brandenburg. As far as you can go. Army Staff College, because they're right on the front line. God, this was a big, big upgrade. This was a massive one for building. Naval College in Philadelphia. We don't really need it now. Grow York Factory! Get this region exporting their stuff. Yes, I'll have this army ready to smash west and hit up Louisiana. This army, 
to head west and hit the Michigan Territory. I'm probably going to want either another army, or do I just want them to sit here when the time comes? And if I can speed down there quickly enough, then we'll just go straight for Lower Louisiana. The Amish to America. Good on them. A great bunch of lads. So you're replenishing. Let's give him a general. Why not? It's Berlin. It deserves a general. Okay. Okay. So they're not coming to meet me for battle, which is what I wanted. So if I did that. Move that to here. So what artillery do you have? 32 pounder heavy horse artillery. Monsieur. Il se cache sous les jupons okay, des femmes. so what I want to do, if they'll let me, is take, take one of my batteries out. Oh, I can't. I, see, I'd like to swap some of the, uh, get some more howards in there, drop some nasties over the wall. But I think this is what I want to do. Even better if I can provoke the reinforcements to come in on my flank. But I think let's fight the Great Assault of, S of Stockholm. I was about to say the Great Assault of Sweden. Let's fight. So you know how I feel about sieges? They're screwing the game up, so I think I'm going to do a, a lot more plinking at distant. I think that's what I'm going to have to, to do more of to really thin them out. Because when I attack, it just grinds my PC to a halt. Not what I want to see at all. I'd like to have a bear. I'd like to upgrade my PC. But then again, there's nothing there's nothing in my PC that means it should struggle running this game. It's got an i7 4790K, top end graphics card, but I mean, hell, for Empire Total War, it, it's, it's, it's pretty good. So I think what I might want to do is do something like this, maybe, to spread them out even more. Cavalry out on the flank. Okay, so if I gave every breaching battalion two units of infantry and a skirmisher. Oh, these all. Oh, this is lots of light infantry. So actually, let's change this then. Light, light, line. Light, line. That's what I can do. Then I'd like to send these guys up this side. So I'd like to hide them in the woods. A general who looks thoroughly unimpressed. So with these guys in quick line, how far do they reach? Perfect. A lovely, lovely good reach. So let's hit start. That is a lovely first volley. So let's get my howitzer batteries focusing on some slightly better targets. And yes, they are abandoning all the wider defences in favour of facing the direct enemy to the front. They do have to be aware of reinforcements going from this direction so if I need to these guys will peel off and form a bit of a breakwater and I might move some of these guys over in this direction too oh that would be a lovely quick climb shot if we can get a shot in there fortunately these are guard regiments they do already have one unit of experience off the bat so they are shade better at you know, being a bit more accurate and reloading a bit faster. So this army's wavering, but I don't want to make them waver. Wow, there's only nine of them left. I'm 95 men. Oh, quick climb shots coming in. Yep, yeah, they're being hit hard. They're making solid breaches. 
Oh yes, they have been. That's been an excellent shot. This is why I don't like being on the reserving end of on the receiving end of quickline. Be careful this cavalry. Good cavalry. Guard cavalry. See if they had how it says they had them deployed. They could be doing a bit of plinking for counter battery. Or alternatively they could be. Alternatively they could be um, firing their own quick climb at me, ready for the assault. You know, lots of things can happen. And if they miss a quick climb again and hit this unit here. This Grenadier Regiment has been decimated from French artillery. Maybe the Swedes will think twice before threatening the, the strength of the French Empire. Is that another quick line volley coming in? Yeah. Oh, that's a devastating shot. But I want to see one more hit here. It's one hit for sure. Into the center. Absolutely devastating artillery fire. Ultimately, my infantry over here might be able to capture this entire wall. The careful bit, the tricky bit, will be redeploying my artillery sort of here to fire off to the, to the east. Actually, that might be something I want to stop firing with these guys. Get ready to limber up and deploy my artillery here to fire at, because either the enemy will go into the castle or come around here. So I want to position myself smartly. Although, to be honest, the one, part of me wonders if it could be over before um, I need to worry about that sort of thing. Yeah, some excellent shots, and to be honest, I think I'm probably going to be okay to do this. Let's move. Fortunately these are both my line regiments so deploy them here. Could be a bit of a gamble. Moving my artillery that close to their lines but no one's garrisoning any artillery so I feel pretty safe. Let's move these guys up. So we explicitly don't want them to hit units that are currently wavering. I want to provoke their reinforcements at the latest possible minute. Guns ready to move them up. Blast this breach with grape shot. Let's, try, let's limber up my guard artillery so we can redeploy them more behind this breakwater here. Yeah, they've got some excellent shots. Is run them there and deploy stakes in case their cavalry seek to to come out. Intrude here. And I'm maybe I'm massively overcompensating for these Swedish reinforcements, but I'd rather be ready. Because that is a mighty fine target. The 
That's his guard artillery, so they do move a bit faster. Compared to his foot artillery. Okay, yeah, so here they come. Here comes the general's bodyguard. Which could hit. Which could hit that way. Limber, limber. Blast the bridge with canister shot. Halt. Get ready with canister shot. Yeah, because you, Hazars, are going to get shot to pieces. You're gonna charge into my charge into my stakes. Huh, they're actually gonna run around and try and interfere with my assault on the walls. It could have worked too. So these guys are here more or less just to wait in case these cavalry charge out. Unlimber, fire at will. Here they come. Form square in your little breach. This little breakwater. Canister shot still going in. Come on, get ready to fire on that guy. They are. They're still broken. They are broken, are they? So these guys are going to tie them up a lot. Turn on guard mode. You know, it's a bit of a legacy thing. I don't really need to capture the walls, but damn it, I want to. I, that's it. It's like he's going back from to Rome to a war. That's what I wanted to do. Fight sieges, capture walls. Let's move these guys up, ready to to assault the gates. More cavalry coming in from the centre. Check to make sure the intro run through the gates. There you go, they're trying to run through. Now it's time to move in fast. into the guards. Hit the 
general's bodyguard, I suppose. Let's try to get you guys up on the wall at least. So let's get the, art the cavalry, the artillery, sorry, to halt, fire. Let's move up. Pressure. Sadly, we're not pouring oil or anything like that. That'd be great. <laughs> See, it's unhappy now. <laughs> it's unhappy now. There's no combat on the, on the. There's no combat on the map. It's, it's already unhappy. The AI doesn't really know what to do, or it's charging a wall somewhere. That's probably what it's doing. Could well just be that. No, don't do that. I saw what you were about to do. These guys are about to run into a run into the wall. Whoa, you guys are still firing. These guys are still asked oh, because they're all trying to go up one ladder. So let's hop for you. It's a reinforcing regiment coming in. Try to take those nasty guys out off the wall, I suppose. You hit those grenadiers. You hit them. You're still climbing up. You're still climbing up. More cavalry. Let's run straight into the center. So my guys at least here they're still firing into the into the dragoons, so I'm not so bothered about charging them. Be nice, but you know, can't have everything. You're firing into the back of your own men. Yeah, see that's that was enough to make them rout. Because the 139 men, oh they are I guess grenadiers, but. Oh wow. Charge down the gate, that's what we need to do. Put a light infantry behaviour on. Oh wow. You chose the wrong time to come out. Okay, let's limber you up. That's the only way I can stop you. Oh, that's where all the reinforcements are coming in. Well no, that's where they've been focusing. So let's get you there. So the general's bodyguard coming from the flank. These guys are still climbing. Straight into the artillery, because they have to lift a nice old gap. So right now, this, this line infantry is way, this line infantry is covering my whole. You guys need to run around here. Yeah, there we go. We 
pissed off. These guys are still climbing. No, they're not still climbing. Yep, yeah, charging my grenadiers, who are, for some reason, walking out after them. Oh, let's put you there. I'm not silly. Flank. Form square, damn it. Good. So you got my kind of target my artillery targeting canister just on this corner, assuming that they are all hugged tight. Come on man. Engage those darn infantry. See what they're doing? They're just running into the wall. It's usually that sort of thing that causes the eye to freak out. And he's going to shoot that cavalry to pieces. These Western European mercenaries get shot in the back. Most everything's going right the way I'd want it to. This is a bit of a kerfuffle over here, but... That's still going to be a kerfuffle because they're coming right for us. Run. So these guys are going to get a pretty sweet charge against my light infantry. Poor buggers. One volley off. Fire into the combat. Wow, they just scythed right through them. And they've gone from 56 down to. Well, it's the end of that. <laughs> so I was doing so well, I cocked it up quite badly by just completely forgetting about them. And just going, oh, I should be able to finish it before they come and get involved. But look at that 3,500 out of 3,800 knocked out. And then let's use you to hit them. Finish you off. So you can head west. Where is your university? Because you're going to have one. Or do you? Now ah, there it is. So what's the best when I knock this down? No, no, you're going to hate me a bit less. But I'm not going to knock anything down. Eventually I'm going to send a priest over there to convert you. Um, but anyway, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed my Siege of Sweden. That went much smoother than it normally does. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.